up everybody welcome to another video welcome to size domain where we talk a lot about politics as well as the entertainment industry because you and i both know that the entertainment industry is driveling with a lot of politics and my oh my progressive will never stop spewing the biggest nonsense that you can ever hear in your entire life the biggest nonsense that you can ever hear like you can clearly see something and they'll be telling you the opposite is the case they have no proof they have no defense they have no evidence of whatever it is that they're saying and it's unfortunate that whenever they're spewing this thing there are so many people out there that actually believe in what they are spewing Currently, I'm talking about Cory Bush. And before I head on, I want to say Happy Independence Day to American viewers out there, my American brothers and sisters. Happy Independence Day to you guys. And while you are celebrating your Independence Day, happy, celebrating freedom, right? Freedom of all people in the US, right? Some people are out there in the US trying to say otherwise. And I'm talking about Cory Bush. And this is what I found on Twitter this morning from Cory Bush. Another progressive person spewing a regressive rhetoric, a divisive rhetoric. This is what she had to say. She said, when they say that the 4th of July is about American freedom, remember this, the freedom they are referring to is for white people. This land is stolen land and black people still aren't free. <laughs> oh, oh, woohoo! all right guys where do i even begin because this this can drive you nuts just thinking about it we're talking about cory bush who happens to be a congresswoman and congress people we know thanks to aoc one of the worst congress people in the u.s one of the worst i think she's the worst in new york and she's the tenth worst in the whole of the u.s these people they don't pass any legislation because their legislation is too progressive to be passed so they're pretty much useless and they're getting paid but thanks to aoc we all know that congress people earn hundred and seventy four thousand dollars a year hundred and seventy four thousand dollars a year means that you are top five percent earners in the country last i checked slavery people who are slaves earn diddly squat and yet this woman is spewing this garbage telling people that black people in the u.s still aren't free meanwhile we have black billionaires we are black billionaires whom just one two three decades ago we're hustling in the streets when you talk about jay-z when you talk about tyler perry when you talk about uh kanye west these people were hustling in the streets black people today they are billionaires we're talking about oprah winfrey billionaires all happened in this so-called country that they're telling people enslave and still enslaving black people how are we supposed to believe that like anybody believing this thing is one of the most foolish people on the planet like seriously she's telling black people and it's unfortunate that a lot of black people are falling for this absolute garbage i mean literally i had a conversation with someone not too long ago a black person who was telling me that out here in australia that we are oppressed that black people are oppressed and the question i asked him is the same question you need to ask people like this people like gwen berry people who are spewing this nonsense towards you say to them how am i still a slave or how am i oppressed and this is the question i asked this fella i said how are you oppressed as a black person in australia and the guy went and i said if it takes you more than 10 seconds to figure out how you are oppressed you may want to rethink what oppression is and then i went on to ask him certain questions i said the last i remember oppression in terms of something that really was catching global attention you can talk about jim crow and you can talk about apartheid and i started asking some questions about those things what occurred in that period in time so i asked this fella i said ask a black person have you ever been stopped from getting on a certain bus because that bus was not meant for black people? And he said, no. And I said, do you have a job? He said, no. And I said, then how are you surviving? He said, he runs a business. I said, you run a business in a land that is not African, but you get paid for it. He said, yes. By white people? He said, yes. And black people? Yes. You have white clients? He said, yes. And I asked him, I said, have you ever been to a bank to try to get a mortgage? 
for a house and they told you, we can't give it to you because you're black. He said, no, he's got a mortgage right now. They paid him a mortgage. I've got a family member that lives in the US and last I checked, she's black. She's got a mortgage. If she wasn't stopped from getting the mortgage. All like what they're trying to spew to you, just like they did with that um, Falcon and Winter Soldier, where they're trying to say they couldn't get a mortgage because of their blackness, not because of their credit score. It's a big ass lie, right? So I said, you've got a mortgage. You've never been stopped from going into a park, using a fountain or getting on a bus or using public transport or buying a car or doing business. How are you in bondage? Wow, that's, that's a great question. Cory Bush earns $174,000. And she's still trying to spew this black people are victims or black people are still slaves or are not free. Cori Bush can travel anywhere she wants in the world. Her base salary, and this is base salary, is $174,000. Only 5.12% of Americans earn that amount. 5.12%, not even 10% earn that amount and she has the guts and the nerve to spew this meanwhile this woman isn't passing any legislation that helps black people she's doing absolutely nothing to help black people she doesn't even know what she's doing I remember back then when she was talking about the rich need to pay their fair share the rich need to pay their fair share and she was questioned about it the wealthy should pay their fair share. Yes, wealthy okay, should pay their fair share. What is a fair share? What percentage? So you're saying that 40, you're, you're saying that they're paying their fair share is what you're saying. No, I'm asking what percentage is a fair share? Their fair share, the same, if I'm paying, if a third of my money is going to taxes, then I think a third of their money should be going it to does. taxes. It does. Well, it does. Aha! Aha! I'm trying to understand because you realize the ta effective tax rate on the poor is less than it is on the rich, right? Okay, so first of all, um, I'm not the poor. That's got nothing to do with the question. Answer the damn question, lady. I'm very close to that line, but I'm not the poor. Okay, so the effective, tax rate about... on the, the effective tax rate on the middle class okay. is less than it is on the rich, correct? What fair share would you like to change the tax rate to on the wealthiest what percentage of Americans so it's a fair share? So let's say the wealthy 1% could pay, let's say if they pay, let's just give them 45%. <laughs> I'm sorry, lady, but the category that you fall in, that's the top 10%. You're paying 80% on taxes already. You're paying 80% of the taxes that are paid. Now, if you're talking about individual corporate taxes, after a rich, wealthy person pays their income tax of about 37% uh, percent of what they earn at the moment, if Biden is not going to raise it, they're still going to pay an average of about 21% in corporate taxes. So these people are paying a lot of money as it were. Now, whether they pay more money or whether they should pay more money, that can be argued but you have to put an exact number on what you are talking about. So it's clear that this woman doesn't know nothing about anything, but she comes out there spewing all these jargons consistently. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think that this woman even knows what she's talking about in terms of even saying that black people aren't free till now, because I believe this is the same old talking point we've seen same old same old from the democrats playbook consistently and why wouldn't they use this it works it works all the time you spew the same thing you tell black people that their biggest problem is white supremacist and they will believe you and you tell them that all white people are racist they would believe you but somehow joe biden isn't a racist when you ask the same people who tell you the white man is the problem of the black man they're still the same one who advocate for joe biden you don't see them creating a different party from the Democrats party and saying, we want this black person to represent us as black people. Your country just voted twice a black president. Your country has tons of mayors, blacks, black mayor. Many of them are even failing in their cities. Your country has tons of black people that are lawmaker. You are one of them. 
what have you done to change the law? And also, what policy exactly can you say disproportionately favors white people over black or disproportionately hinders black people from making it? That is holding them down, that is keeping them in that slave plantation that is so-called in your mind. Which of the policies can you point to? Because they can't, I've, I've never heard of any. And then when you talk about systemic racism and you say there are things in or there are policies or bills that were passed that affects black people, you know, disproportionately to white people. Well, the only one I can think of is the crime bill. And guess who? Who sponsored the crime bill? The same guy you guys campaigned for to become president. Ding, 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 ding. Joe Biden. It's always funny how these people always talk about how white people are white supremacists and how all white people are racist, but they never ever mention the white people that seem to favor them. And they turn their back when you start talking about those people. And this is how they continue to deceive black people, deceive people of color, playing identity politics. And it always seems to work. That's the most painful part of this whole thing. It always seems to work. Look, you guys, as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to what divides people in America, it's not race. It's nothing to do with identity politics. What divides America is class. There's the ruling class and there's the working class. And what the ruling class has succeeded in doing is to use the identity politics to continue to set division amongst people, the working class. So while you are looking at a different race as your enemy, you're not really seeing the real enemy ahead of you because they continue to create this problem and then present themselves as the solution. Whereas nothing is ever solved by these people. And the people that play the identity politics the most, your guess is as good as mine, left-wing Democrats and progressive Democrats, which is exactly the people that this woman stands with. So, guys, I could talk about this for hours, but I want to know what you guys think because this is an absolute joke, honestly speaking. And yeah, it's funny, really, really funny. These are the lawmakers that we are having and these are the people that black people are depending on to make a difference for them. All I can say is I'm not going to hold my breath for that to happen. Anyways, you guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel. And I hope today is the day that I actually earn your subscription on this channel. I thought I'd need to quickly get this out because I was seriously pissed when I saw that tweet and maybe I should stay away from Twitter so that I can make videos with level head. But I just felt like this message needed to be heard. There are more things I want to talk about, but don't want to extend the video too long. Thank you guys for staying with me up until now. I uh, hope to talk to you guys again real soon. Take care of yourself. Have a great week ahead. Peace and sayas out of here. Catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye now.